Hi everyone, welcome to the 43rd session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will continue from where from where we have left in the previous session. And please note, in this session, we will co cover the following topics. We will cover access, xlim and ylim, and then uh, the alternative for the xlim, ylim, legend, how to like represent our uh, figure with the legend, and then which will be followed by the annotate where we will display the maximum and the minimum position of a particular curve. So let's start. We have a pandas uh, library and the matplotlib will uh, import that and then we will also execute our person bachelor's degree for women from USA and then we'll execute this. So what is the content of this data set? So we have this and if we open this, we have the year and all the respective columns which is present there. What we will execute our first task number one which will be access. Axis is nothing but your x-axis and x-axis and the y-axis followed by like uh, you will get a better understanding based on this uh, representation. We will give the length of the figure suppose it's 0 0.1, 1, comma, 0 0.06, comma, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.8. Okay. This will be my position and, uh, positioning of my coordinates and suppose we want to like versus architecture so plt dot plot df comma df architecture comma you give color is equals to and then followed by plt dot now if we execute this line what it will happen so we can see this this is my positioning of my x axis this is point one what is the length what is the length and what is the breadth all the position are there now if you want to uh, plot one more uh, column which is suppose uh, which is psychology so how we will do color screen if we, if we execute this all four it is coming in the same picture okay but i don't want to this to come in the same picture so we have to give the positioning we have to change this position somewhere. Now you see this 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 is how much? 0 0.6. So you can start from point. So you can see again there is it is overlapping. It is you can give here 0 0.6 1 or 2. So at least it will give some space here. Okay. Now we'll execute this. You can see there is a space because of this margin. Okay. Now if we want to again plot, suppose the computer science. So this is an alternative for subplot. If you don't want to use subplot, you can use this. Again, 0 0.61 plus 0 0.5 will be how much? Will be somewhere around 1.1. Okay. And here we'll get computer science. Color will be red. Again, there is a uh, overlapping is there. We need to overlapping still there. We need to rectify that. We'll give here 1.11 suppose. Okay. Now because this, if you add this 0.1 plus no 0.61 plus 0.5, it will be 1.11. So then you add 0 0.01. That's why this spacing has come between these two graphs. So this is how we will use plt dot uh, like access to plot our graphs. So this is an alternative for subplots. Now task number two. Task number. So what we'll do like we are not interested to cover the entire range of the particular column. We want to for the year column. We want to analyze the year from 1985 to 2005 or whatever is your choice. Okay. So what we'll do, like we will plot the architecture and the psychology column. So plt dot plot df df of year comma df of architecture comma color is equals to green. Then we have to give PLT. These are for males. If you want to do a comparison between male and female, we can do it very easily. You have to give just 100 minus like what we have already discussed in the previous session. The data set DF is only for females or the women. If you want to get the count for the men, you have to uh, subtract this 100 from that particular column. Subtract that particular column from the value 100. 
now what we'll do we'll the, add the access labels dot x label what do you want to the name uh, do the name as for the name uh, x axis is a year whereas plt dot y la y label is the degrees are wanted okay now we need to set the axis okay so setting the x and y Axis. Like we want to cut the particular uh, range of the year and then do our R&D on that range. So for that, plt dot x length. Now for the year from which suppose we want to uh, check from the year 1985 to 2005, and for the plt dot y length, we want to just check from 0 to 90. Okay. What is some uh, value here? And then in PLT dot title will get something degrees awarded to women and and men. Okay. And then finally we'll give and then finally we'll give PLT dot show. Now we'll execute this. So you can see, okay, we have not changed the color. We give yellow and blue. Okay. Okay. So you can see the values between the year 1985 to 2000 and also the degrees, number of degrees or the percent of degree awarded from 0 to 90. Okay. Now there is a small change. Like if you don't want to use this xlim, okay, so in that case you can use plt.access. So instead of this xlim and ylim, okay, so in order to, uh, I might have, I must have already uh, like uh, told, if you want to comment this, the option is control one. Okay, plt dot axis axis and then you need to specify all the parameters first x then followed by y 1985 to 2005 comma 0 comma 90 that's it okay so it's the same thing so task 3 is also done okay the next task which we are going to do is we'll use the legends okay so here itself in the same example we can use the legends or like in the first example wherever you want you can use the legend so we'll copy this full thing okay what we'll do instead we'll simply add plt dot legend and there we'll give the positioning is equals to upper center okay and then simply show it okay so you can see the architecture is green aware psychology is red now instead of upper center if you want to give here lower center will it work we'll check yes it's working so task number four is also completed now will so that is for the session if you feel this video is helpful please uh, like uh, press the like button and also subscribe to this channel uh, and if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you